If mashed potatoes are one of the most important parts of a Thanksgiving dinner, you're gonna love our version of perfect mashed potatoes. And the ridiculously fantastic mashed potato taco we make at the very end. And right off the top, let me say, this shirt is not a political statement in any sense. It's a culinary statement. Can't we get back to the place where we all cook again? And by the way, if you want one of these most fabulous t-shirts, because I think cooking Thanksgiving dinner in one of these, or giving it as a gift is an excellent idea, they're available right down below. Just click, and you could look like this, if this is good in your mind. All right, now to the potatoes. There's three things that make perfect mashed potatoes. The first thing is, I'm using Yukon Gold Potatoes. Look, there's plenty of potatoes out there. No, I thought I had one. There's plenty of potatoes out there, russets being the most common. But here's the thing that's not right with using a russet potato. They're full of starch and they absorb a ridiculous amount of water and who wants that in a potato? These guys, creamy, gorgeous, amazing. And the color of these, the very light faded yellow is fantastic. So we start by peeling. Very good, Neil. God, he's, you're so paying attention. So I don't have to go around the horn with my peeler. I just flatten off the ends like this. And then I just peel. Once you have your potato peeled, the next most important part is cutting them into similar size pieces. Because a potato that's in the same sizes cooks the same way in the pot. And once they're cut, I like to put them into the pot and this water's not boiling yet and that's okay, it'll get there. But if you leave them out, they'll start to brown and nobody wants a brown potato. Once they're in, let's do the rest. While our potatoes cook, and it's gonna take about 20-ish minutes until they're soft enough you can poke a fork through them, we're gonna take care of the second of three things that make perfect mashed potatoes, the liquid. So we're gonna put three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream into a pot with a quarter of a cup of butter and slowly let it melt. And when they're ready and soft enough to poke a fork into all the way, we drain them. Oops. Oh, and now we mash. Okay. And the third most important part to making perfect mashed potatoes is a giant garlic press. No, it's called a potato ricer. A potato ricer. Looks like a giant garlic press, works the same way. Inside, a plate with little tiny holes. You push the potatoes through, they will be magnificent. And by the way, if you don't have one, they're like 12 bucks or something, we'll put a link below. Super handy. Wait till you see how these turn out. So then here's all you do. You load the chamber with some potato and then watch. Pay attention, a potato ricer because it comes out like little bits of rice. It's magnificent. More potato and just continue till you're done. Honestly, this thing is kind of life changing. You can use a masher and mash by hand, but then there's the lumpy potato factor that works into it. You can use a hand blender, but I'm telling you for my money, for my 12 bucks, I'm really happy with this guy. If beautifully smooth mashed potatoes are your goal, a ricer is your best friend. And next is the cream butter mixture. Make some room and then add and mix. Honestly, you have no idea how great this is gonna end up. So we've used three pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes, three quarters of a cup of whipping cream and a quarter cup of butter. And we add salt, so let's add some salt. Oh boy, I need to taste these. Look, mash potato perfection. Look at this, look at this color. It's not, it's not snow white. It's this really beautiful, faint yellow. Did you see that? I didn't even chew. I just like pushed my tongue down and ate it. They're so perfectly creamy. Look, you use a hand uh, a masher, you get lumps. You use the hand mixer. If you do it too much, they become gluey. 
Who wants that? That's what you want. Mm. Half a tablespoon of kosher salt, and they're amazing. And before our mashed potato taco, which is gonna be tremendous, I'm gonna show you three quick ads to make these a little different, if you're so inclined. The first are mixed with crumbled blue cheese and sauteed red onion. Next, diced chipotle peppers and Monterey Jack cheese. And the final one, diced green chilies and cooked bacon. Now that's the way to step up your mashed potato game. But wait, don't stop there. Here we go. A little sour cream on the bottom. That's some of our perfect mashed potatoes. A little Cholula. Come on. Diced green onion. A nice amount, because I love it. And finally, a handful of kettle potato chips that we crunch and drop on top. And we eat. <clears throat> so good. It's the interplay between the creamy mashed potatoes and the crunchy chips. And the cool sour cream and the spicy Cholula hot sauce. And then a little bite from him to sound like such an idiot saying all this. That's freaking amazing. You got to make this. Talk about making America cook again. Perfect mashed potatoes, then done three ways to show you options, and then a mashed potato taco? Come on now. And by the way, hats will be ready soon. Soon? Soon. Not, not quite yet. T-shirts now. Soon. Thank you for hanging out with us. Like, subscribe, and, and comment. And by the way, if we don't get to all your comments, it's not that we're not trying. There's a lot of them. We love reading them. We read them all. We try and answer as many as we can. There's more great Sam the Cooking episodes you can watch. And don't forget to subscribe. And check out the links below for stuff we might have used.